Well, fine good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm in St. Albans, Vermont, and this building here started life as the Central Vermont Railroad's headquarters. This is a gorgeous building. Oh, my gosh. This is um, Second Empire. That's the architectural style of this building. And uh, if you're going to use... Google Maps to find this place, you will find it. What's interesting is I typed in the historic name, which is the Central Vermont Railroad, but the actual name, current name, is New England Central Railroad, and uh, Google Maps knew that, changed the name, and uh, brought me here, as if it were the easiest thing in the world. So, yay for that. All right, so let me tell you some information about this place. The Central Vermont Railroad Headquarters is a complex of railroad-related buildings and infrastructure in the city of St. Albans, Vermont. Developed between the 1860s and 1920s by the Central Vermont Railroad, CVR, the complex is the largest assemblage of railroad-related buildings in Vermont. Located between Catherine and Pine Streets on either side of Lake Street, it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1974. Many of the buildings are no longer used for railroad functions, but the former Central Vermont Railway Office now houses the offices of the New England Central Railroad, and the present Amtrak station uses the former CVR building. The Central Vermont Railroad Headquarters Complex is located just west of St. Albans' Central Business District and is roughly bisected by Lake Street. In fact, uh, this street right here is Lake Street and the historic downtown is up there. It is bounded north of Lake Street by Pine and Federal Streets and south of Lake by Houghton, Market, and Allen Streets. It includes buildings originally used as maintenance sheds, a freight depot, roundhouse, and the main office building that served as the Central Vermont's headquarters. The latter structure, built in the 1870s and located on the north side of Lake Street, is the dominant feature of the complex, distinguished by its second empire architecture and pair of three and a half story mansard roofed towers. Now, let me just mention something about a mansard uh, roof. First of all, Monsieur Manzar was a French architect uh, in France, and um, in the 1800s, the the you were, the owner was taxed on the number of stories, excluding the basement and the attic, because typically attic space is unusable. But a Manzar roof, as we can see, creates livable, workable space, and the tax man did not tax it. So this would be the Manzar roof uh, right here, as well as uh, those up there. A uh, very usable space. You actually stand up uh, throughout the space. That's what makes it usable. <laughs> North of that building stands the circa 1900 switch house, which now serves as the, as the depot for the Amtrak station. And north of that is a large roundhouse. I, someone did tell me that the roundhouse was torn down. From here I can't see one, but uh, but you can see there's there are other there are other train buildings. In fact, there are train buildings over here and over here. On the south side of Lake Street is a large complex of maintenance facilities, which have mostly been repurposed to other commercial and industrial uses. 
The Central Vermont Railroad, Railroad was formed in 1860 by consolidating a number of shorter lines, some of which had been bankrupted, into a single entity providing service from Montreal across Vermont and southern New England to the port cities of Boston, Massachusetts, New London, Connecticut, and later New York City. St. Albans was supposedly chosen as the headquarters site of the new railroad by J. Gregory Smith, a St. Albans native who became the railroad's first president. The property where its facilities are located had previously been developed on a smaller scale by the predecessor Vermont Canada Railroad. Many of the former maintenance buildings used for the construction and uh, maintenance of the company's rolling stock were built in the 1860s along with a surviving headquarters building. By the turn of the 20th century, the CVR was Vermont's largest railroad operator. During the 20th century, its passenger business declined and the four-track passenger depot set just west of the headquarters was demolished in 1963. Alrighty, now that we have some history under our belts, Let's go do a walk around. Might even be able to aim it inside some of these windows. How fun will that be? All right. I mean, it's a gorgeous building. I'm just uh, blown away. I mean, look at these. Look at these beautiful arched windows. I mean, wow. Look at that. I mean, that's just... It, blows me away how gorgeous it is. It was uh, not just about functionality, it was about beauty, it was about showing off. You know, a bit, uh, uh, do I want to say pretentious? Well, maybe, maybe a bit pretentious, but uh, I do love, I do like this look. All right. If, uh, if this look, by the way, looks sort of familiar, think Psycho, the movie Psycho from the 60s. Uh, the Alfred Hitchcock movie? Yeah, that. Then we can see that right here, that's uh, New England Central Railroad, Inc., a Genesee and Wyoming company, New England Central, N-E-C-R. And then we have uh, these two urns and a fountain in the center. I have to say, this fountain reminds me a lot of the replica fountain at Lakeview Cemetery. If you've been watching my videos, you have, right? Then uh, you've seen, I have uh, actually two videos on that same fountain. And uh, this is the fountain right here. And there's an urn, and there's another urn. I have no idea if this one works. The one at Lakeview does not, but it's beautiful to look at. And we can see there's this uh, chain all the way around, so clearly they don't want anybody traipsing around and hanging out. That's all right. I don't want to. <laughs> Flagpole, no flag on it though. That is quite unfortunate. You can see another sign right here. Wow, this one needs some paint on it, that's for sure. And as we come around the corner here, we can see that uh, there's been some, I'm guessing, water damage to the brick up here. See right right there and down. It looks like water damage to me. But they do have a gutter system. Um, the black that we see up there, that's a gutter system, which I'm very glad of. I can see the, pla paint, the place rather needs a paint job. You can see that too, uh, right here. <clears throat> uh, 
And here we come. So for building access, you have to call some manager who's on duty. But we have to go in. And we can sort of see inside the Wayne's coating. Um, it looks unpainted for where I'm standing since I'm looking with my eyeballs. But wow, look at those beautiful lights in the hall. Wow, I am happily blown away. This is uh, quite nice on the ground here. I'm guessing red granite, but I'm no specialist. I just, I go to a lot of cemeteries, right? And look at this beautiful detail right here. And even down here, that looks like red granite. Then around back, I found some interesting stuff. Interesting is in the eye of the beholder. And you, I am the one speaking, so... Mm. But uh, as we look up, we can see what looks to be paint on the brick. That the yellow up there, see that? Uh, mustard color. Anyway, I think it's paint because it's got that, uh, what, that alligatoring? Is that what that's called? Oops. So, and then over here, on this, this right here, what are all those bubbles? Is water getting behind them? They look, kind of remind me of water bubbles. But it uh, beats the heck out of me. And we can see here that railroad building parking only, 24 hours a day, lot under video surveillance, unauthorized vehicles will be towed at owner's expense. <clears throat> I am uh, parked in the lot, but I am filming the building. So I dare say I think I'm doing railroad business. Now, what I find interesting, and uh, <laughs> I suppose because I've lived here so long, but uh, usually the sign only says falling ice, but this one says look out for falling ice. Uh, that right there. Let me uh, give you a close up. Ta da! Yeah, you don't be under falling ice. It's have it really, really hurt. Now, also nifty here is, uh, as it says, uh, there's an Amtrak uh, station here. I think it's that building over there. So, we can see that there's the Amtrak signs uh, right here. St. Albans, Vermont, right? You can see that, eh? But the New England Central Railroad has an even better sign. And let's go take a look see at that, shall we? Oh, I love that idea. I love track. I have all sorts of train videos. <laughs> train track, train switches, all sorts of stuff. Uh, it all interests me. But there's this sign right here. How cool is that? It's tipping over. It's definitely seen better times. And just, wow. Wonder what hit it. <laughs> I mean, the track's here. Now we do have this that says uh, stay behind yellow line. 
instant weight loss for me. I can see it now. It wouldn't be very pretty. But it would finally be thin. Now this building over here says uh, Amtrak on it. And I'm inclined to believe that this is the train station. Let's see what it says on the building. I know I'm looking forward to filming the interior of the Virgins train station. It was moved from Ferrisburg to Virgins. I filmed that. I'll include a link to that if you can watch that. Hmm. Is this the train station? Oh, this needs some help with the brick. Wow. Not good. Not horrible. But wow, not even close to good. Can we say repointing? And look at that. It used to be a door up there. I'm guessing for freight. I think if this is the train station, then I think this was the original telegraph office. And someone was telling me that during the St. Albans raid, no, I've not touched, touched on that subject uh, yet, anyway, but the St. Albans raid during the US Civil War, or American Civil War, um, oh yeah, St. Albans, Vermont Station, that uh, Union troops came to the telegraph station and uh, as the uh, raiders were here in St. Albans, you know, the uh, Confederate soldiers were here in St. Albans. The uh, telegraph uh, operator was sending a message to Washington, D.C. to say, send troops, send troops, send troops. How scary is that? I'm pretty sure this is only open when the train is going to come through. And I want to say it's something like uh, 4 to 6 p.m. or 6 to 8 p.m. But feeling, yeah, no, it's locked. But uh, look at that. Look at that. Can we see that? Can we see it? Oh, we can. Oh, how fun is that? And let's see what's over here. Can you see? Mm, not looking good. No, I can't. Uh, I can't even see. Just see. Mm, but this. But that is, that is remarkable right there. That wooden bench. Wow, I love that. Oh yeah, this building needs some help. It needs brickwork, it needs some uh, woodworking done, probably a replacement of the sill. Oh, and look at this too. <laughs> yeah, this brick. Well, this brick certainly would be facing uh, sun and wind and rain and all sorts of weather. And yeah, here's a flagpole. That's nice. And a mailbox. And right here, I think there's a flagpole. There's another one there, but maybe it's not a flagpole. Amtrak employees only. And uh, you see, this door had one of those things. You can see there's a number nine up there. It's so hard to see. There we go. See that? Right there says number nine. Very cool. We well, can see it had something up there. I'm guessing a door hood so people wouldn't have to get wet as they were trying to find their key. Um, but look at that, what interesting wood. And with the 
mean, really meant to stay in. These big bolts. Uh, so anyway, so uh, let's run back of this building. Let's take a look, see. What can we see? An air conditioner. That thing, so you can't look in the windows. Probably just as well. And how about the other side? As long as we're here, why not, right? Kind of interesting. I wonder what they're doing with this building here. I wonder if it's old. And they are updating it. I don't live up here. I don't know. There we go. We have a restroom. <laughs> Gotta watch with my step. Is that right there? A, a window, a, a basement window. And then over here, I can see it. Oh, I can see it here too. Yay. Another bench. So it looks like a couple of benches in there. I don't know how many people they usually have riding the trains here. I don't have that information. Oh, here's a train switch, train spur. So it's right there. I love this stuff. So you can decide which track it's going to go on. Is it going to go on this one that curves up here or this one that curves towards other buildings? So Pretty interesting, eh? Yes, indeed. This definitely looks like an old building. From this side, it has a Greek Revival style elements. I don't know what this building is or was, but as long as we're here, let's take a look, see. I'm certainly getting my walk in today, that is for sure. And I haven't even been in a cemetery yet. Though I had an opportunity, I was up in Highgate first. Why don't they lower the grade? Because the, the the way the door is here, I mean that's a heck of a, of a first step. But uh, we can see it has this right here, and there's one on this side as well. Hard to look up. Oh, you can't see it still. I love Pete. There you go, right there. And there's a really strong lintel over this door here. So these me to believe that it could be um, 1840s, 50s, 60s. Pretty interesting. Wish you could smell the tar. Maybe it's creosote. Alrighty, well, that's all I really wanted to show you today uh, here at this amazing and beautiful series of buildings that were all used for the trains, the Central Vermont Railroad. So, if you enjoyed my content, please subscribe. 150 and growing. Yay! Join us. Come and talk to me on social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook as Traveling for History. I'm on uh, Twitter as Traveling for HI1 with a number number one. Um, and certainly on YouTube every day. 
I still upload every day. Today is April 11, 2022. And as I just said, I still upload every day of the week. So, I do take requests, by the way. I have one request in the hopper. Still working on it. Don't lose hope. I'm working on it still. I can only think of one place now where I can find information on that building. And I was, I was hoping I wouldn't be using that source. But, uh, well, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching today. I truly appreciate it. And until I see you again, you have a great day. Thanks for watching.